Hello everyone and welcome back to PVZ 2 Quest. Last time we started the plant puzzle epic quest. This time we're going to be continuing on through it, doing levels 4, 5, and 6. I imagine these are all going to be mostly the same, you know? Two columns of plants and like an escape route or two. Right, we got invincibility runes. I don't think we had the invincibility runes the past few times. Alright, we got starfruit. I guess we want starfruit kind of out in front, right? Let's get that going. And yeah, let's make sure laser bean. So every rose I covered, essentially. Uh, let's get... Let's get Chomper on the case down here. I also just realized, I think if a star fruit wants to be effective, it has to be like in a bottom somewhere in order to get like hit oh we need a the primal p is an issue i realize because it crimp right, so far this isn't, isn't too bad yeah the primal p can keep stuff on the invincibility room which is, i don't think is always preferred in fact maybe i should try and just take it off that rope right now Let's actually get the laser beam going on that row. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. I think we have this covered. Let's get the chomper going up top for this torture. Oh, I'm, oh I didn't even need him, okay. Let's get the laser beam on that middle row now, and then we'll get the chopper on that row now. Oh, I'm gonna need chopper actually for this guy, this crop, this guy here. So yeah, let's get the laser beam up top now. So far, so good. Again, the primal P doesn't seem that useful. Are you gonna have that guy good? Okay, we're good. Let's swap the chopper over here so he gets rid of the graves. The graves might be an issue because I don't have a good way of dealing with them. Well, let's move this guy here. I need to stop fast forwarding, I think. We definitely need a laser beam here in the middle. But let me get him behind here, actually. And then we'll sapling this. Yeah, I'm not sure what they want. The primal peak doesn't seem that good. It seems more of a hindrance than anything. Okay, as soon as that... Actually, I might not even need the laser... Yeah, let's move the laser beam actually up top. And let's get a primal bee here to help with these guys. Deal with that guy a little bit. I'm gonna stun you. Uh, are you kidding me, dude? I stunned you like the moments before you would. Oh man, that really blows. Okay, if we can make it to the final wave with our mowers intact, hopefully we don't have to redo this, this level. I think that definitely does blow. Losing the chomper. My one source of damaging that one guy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's get the laser beating in this row now. I can get rid of Grave Guy. Yeah, we'll get I'm gonna the Starfruit here to help out. I just wanted to move the primal P there and knock that guy back before he got any closer.
Okay, we can move Laser B now. Let's have him help out here. We need Primal P up top, I think. Oh, actually, let's just use the mower on this guy right now. Hopefully, we'll be fine. Oh, except it didn't hit the grave guy. That kind of blows. Okay, I guess we'll stun this whole group here. And Silver, we can, until we can deal with them. Oh, that guy's gonna burn him. No! Okay, at least we got him. Uh, I lost the Primal P, which really sucks. Like, I'll be fine if I lost an escape route, but not the laser beam. Okay, I only have one row to defend. And that's this one up here. It is the final wave. Please take out this guy. Nuts. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Come on, Starfruit. That's good, that's all I needed. I'll, uh, well, actually... Actually, it may not be good because there might be stuff that hasn't like come out yet, you know? Or it might be... Like, the invincibility runes might block the mowers from from destroying the zombies. Well, it seems like they're all... It seems like they're all almost over the invincibility runes anyway, so I think we're fine. So I'm just gonna fast forward, let them let all the guys eat the eat the um, plants and get through the mowers. It seems like we made it, just just by use of the mowers. I definitely screwed up there towards the mid game. Losing the chomper definitely hurt. Actually, let me swap this sapling in. I don't want these guys getting slowed down. I guess I should have I could have just dug up the plants too, right? Yeah. Dig that up. But yeah, that, that is a shameful win. I do say so myself. But a win nonetheless. Alright, let's move on to level 5. What do we got here? Oh, we got three we got three rows of plants. Oh man, they just they just up the uh... Okay, well yeah they Okay, well, I guess my first thought is, like, let's just, like, get this Torchwood, like, totally set for right now. And look, so yeah, bottom row is, like, totally well off. Oh, and, oh, and of course that happens. Of course it's in the row I don't want. Oh my gosh. Of course the Jester comes out in that row that I just totally beef up. Okay, I'm just gonna restart that real quick, you know. But what can't hit a jester? We only have fume shroom. Well, I also let's get the spike weed out in front here. I mean, that's definitely a safe thing to do. Let's also get the uh, the endurians out in front. Okay, so let's get. The fume shroom out. Oh, actually, let's get the repeater over here. Not sure how I want to use a squash. Okay, let's focus down this wizard. Make sure he doesn't get to live very long. Wizard, don't do your thing, please. No! Okay, now we can switch this repeater in here to help out. Oh, you know what? The Torchwood should also be kind of up front, right? 
should, I mean, I definitely want a uh, snow pea in this row to help out against the shadow zombie because he moves too quickly after all. All right, and then I need to move this torchwood out of the way. Well, I'm making a mess of things, I think. <laughs> Okay, Jester, get you out of there. Stop, don't damage my spring beam. Oh, we need a heavy firepower against the knight here. Okay, that should be enough to deal with the knights. This level has a lot has me a lot more on edge because of the 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 bigger amount of plants. Well, and that's totally not fair when the wizard is just able to do that right off the bat. Actually, let me get a repeater um, up top here. Deal with these guys. And we'll have the Bong Choi deal with the cone head here. Oh, uh, that kind of sucks how that happens. Well, yeah, give me that enduring back, please. Thank you. All right, we got. Uh, okay, we're set for these imps. Imps are fine. We'll fast forward through that. Oh, I, oh wait, never mind. I just realized I got a problem here. Okay, where's the jester coming from? Okay, we need his. Uh, let's get a snow pee for this row. Okay, that should be fine. And as soon as this Jester dies, I'll swap him out. To deal with, help deal with the knight. Okay, now we need the Fume Shroom down here. Again, we want to take care of the wizard ASAP. But... There's a lot of pressing matters to take care of. Oh, actually, why did I do that? That was dumb. Don't do that. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We lost the fume shroom. We lost the fume shroom, guys. That is not good. Oh. Nuts, nuts. Get that. No, get this out of here. Uh, oh, and uh, of course the Endurians get zapped. Okay, I should have used. Okay, I'm gonna restart right now, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I should have used the um, stunions that they gave me. Okay guys, I'm back. I think this is probably my fifth attempt at this level now. This one is quite tricky. The fact that there's three columns of plants definitely makes this a bit harder. Um, I also think it helps a little bit to know where the stuff comes out of initially. Like I'm pretty sure the gesture comes out the bottom. So let's get that going. And then let's also get the spike weed out in front. All right, let's get, we can get a double repeater here, help with that. Actually, I think I prefer someone to hit this cone head at the same time. At least this guy's getting fireballed. And yeah, and just using this, um, the snow pea and the fume shroom in a, in a good and effective way is kind of hard to do. So like the, the repeater there is good. Actually, let me... I want to get rid of this wizard ASAP, so I'm just going to blast him really, really hard. Yeah, let's actually... There, yeah, let's get that set up for that. Um... So, wizard got absolutely blasted. 
Here, let's start shooting these guys now. Uh, I need a snow pea here. Like, let's just get a repeater to help out here. I think that should be enough for the shadow zombie. Alright, Jess are coming in that row though. We need him dealt with. Top row is still fine for right now. Oh, I need something for Night Boy. Let's try it. Let's just get a spring bean set up for him. Okay, Wizard, again, I want to just blast. Oh, and then he tor of course he does that to my Torchwood while he's still invincible. Uh, let's get an Enduri in here for these guys. We need to move the Squash out of the way. Wizard, you need to die right like right now. Okay, I need to move the torchwood out of the way right now. I'm gonna undo that though pretty soon. Okay, yeah, let's we'll put that torchwood back. Okay, we use no stunions yet. We're pretty well off. We haven't lost any plants. Where's the jester coming? I hear him. He? He's on the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Let me just let me just get an enduring set up there right now. Spro needs some help. Let me just let me just get a bonk choy out because I know these guys are super tanky. Oh, that was not the time to do that. My bad. The deaths are still alive. Okay, Jester's dead now, so we can put this here. Although we need a fume shroom up here now for that. Okay, I'm gonna sun this Jester as soon- oh, sorry, sun the wizard as soon as he's out. Shoot, let's uh, move this actually. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll use the squash here. Okay, now we need to focus down this wizard. Let's just move that Snoopy out of the way. Please kill the wizard. Let's stun both these guys. No, I missed the wizard with that nuts. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm gonna stun both these guys, or stun the wizard at least right now. Okay, stun this guy right now. I want this wizard dealt with. Oh my gosh, how am I living? I'm the answer is I'm not. I'm not living. I mean I I have all my lawnmowers attack, it's almost the final wave. That's like the saving grace here. This wiz this wizard is gonna totally screw me. Okay, that imp just died, so that was good timing. But let's fireball this row now. Okay, final wave. Everything's almost out. Let me set it up an Endurian for this guy. 
Same with this guy here. Okay, I need... I need, yeah, I need, I need to start dealing with wizard. Oh, there's a guy right here. Yeah, let's bring me this guy, this knight, right now. Well, let's see if we can swap Spring Bean in for this Gargantuar. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> no, I think we basically lost. Let's just fast forward. Well, I mean, we still have our mowers out. That's what gets. That's what. That's what saves us. But yeah, that that level's a bit tricky. A bit tricky. It took me several attempts, but we got there. All right, let's move on to the next one, and that'll be the last one for the episode. But yeah, three columns of plants was a little, a little tricky. And we got more. Oh, it's not quite three columns of plants. Um, yeah, let's have a split peas in the front, I guess. Oh, they're giving me sunflowers to put out blooming hearts. That's interesting. What? Or a single, or yeah, two, it's that one sunflower. Yeah, let's get one of the split peas here. I also have aloe and the primal walnut. It's an interesting pair. Oh, let's get a second guy on this. You seem like higher tier split peas as well. Like they, they're probably like tier two or three. Oh, yeah, that should be good. Actually, let's get another split bee here. So far, so good. I don't have a whole lot of firepower to hurt these guys with. Yeah, because zombies are getting awfully close. Like, I felt like I responded to that guy pretty... Okay, we got a pterodactyl in that row, so let's just get the, this guy set up right away. In fact, let's put the, the walnut there right now. Oh, you know what we can do is that uh, we can get the Torchwood in here. Help with this guy. Okay, and then I need to start healing this one. This guy does not have the greatest amount of health. Oh, that must be a really strong aloe, because that guy... Okay. Oh, I... Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, if I keep swapping this guy around. Okay, just put the torchwood there, and we'll put the split B. I feel like I got kind of screwed over there. A hey, hey, sunflower? Are you serious? Okay, I need. Oh my gosh. But you cannot swap. Oh my gosh. So, you, if something is on that first row, you can't swap around. You gotta have, the, like, the walnut or whatever ready. Okay, I think, like, I think I'm just gonna restart right now, actually. I feel a little screwed over. Oh, okay, guys, I'm back. So, fourth try now. Um, yeah, so, what I'm gonna do last time that I didn't do... Uh, or, sorry, what I'm gonna do this time that I didn't do last time is that I'm actually going to, like, utilize the sun that they give me to put down Blooming Hearts. I can't believe I forgot to do that the first time. Let's just put this up here. I'm trying to remember how they come out. Conehead, okay, Conehead's there. So we need someone here. Oh. Oh, I did that too soon. That imp is still gonna live.
Okay, I'll spread out the, the split peas a little more. Okay, I'm gonna put a blooming heart up there now. So top row is like totally fine. Got to use my other plants in a meaningful way. I also think you need the blooming hearts to deal with gargantuars. Otherwise, you just don't have enough. Also, I'm gonna use the torchwood to deal with the pterodactyls. I think that's how you're meant to deal with them, because Torchwood has enough health that you want to heal it in between pterodactyls. Um, using the aloe, of course. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so what we're gonna do here... Actually, what am I doing? Need to get this guy dead. Yeah, let's get let's get this healed up. Also, I think I'm just gonna replace these two guys with um, spike weed up top. Let the pterodactyl just do that. Let them walk on by. Let's get the blooming heart out of there. Okay, excellent. Distribute my plants. Blooming Heart needs to be against that bucket head. Let's also have something firing on this bucket head too. So the spike wing is powerful enough that um yeah, it, an imp walking over it gets killed. Yeah, there's a pterodactyl here. Let's get this torchwood behind him. Oh, let me replace these two with spike weed. Yeah, let's get this torchwood healed up. Torchwood. A, he a healthy Torchwood is a happy Torchwood. Okay, Torchwood's fine right now, so we'll put this Torchwood there. Get a split P there. And look at the split P. It looks like the split P is still getting its fireballs off, so it is uh, able to, um... Oh, shoot. Uh... Doing multiple things here at once. I want to heal this Torchwood up right now. Oh yeah, the Blooming Heart combo. Forcing the guys to be like stuck there. That could be, it's pretty good. Oh, let's get the Torchwood on this. Hopefully that Torchwood lives. Oh no! Okay, we need to swap this guy out with Spike Weed. That's actually really bad. Uh, don't lose the Sunflower. Uh, I'm just gonna lawnmower this Gargantuar actually. I don't think I can or to do anything about it. Yeah, replace you with Spike Weed. As long as we keep the... the bottom row clear, I think we'll be fine. Oh, we need to heal up this Primal Walnut. Replace you, replace you... Place you with spike weed. Okay, 
Yeah, let's replace you with that right now. I know it's not the best solution. Well, I really should actually use be blooming hard against this bucket head. I mean, I am so screwed right now. Oh my gosh, I lost another plant. Yeah, let's see if we can get this guy to just walk past. Yeah, that seems to have worked. <laughs> I don't want that eaten though. Oh man, I'm gonna have to let that second row go, I think. Missing two mowers is not the best situation to be in, but we got the Bloomy Hearts for days. Yeah, let's get something hit in this bucket head right now. Okay, so yeah, we'll let this guy- oh shoot, that's not what I wanted to do, yeah, we'll let this guy walk past. It seems like a good counter against the pterodactyls, is just let them walk past, you know? Let's see, let me swap these guys around, maybe, maybe someone needs some healing. Oh yeah, I still lost one of the split peas too, okay, I gotta use... I plant food in a good way. Yeah, just let these guys walk past. Okay, let me, uh... Let me just set this up with spike weed immediately. Against this amber head. Don't eat that blooming heart, please. Oh shoot, they what did they eat? I I feel like I'm losing a lot of essentials, but luckily I have two plants. Oh yeah, I lost the sunflower. That's what happened. And I lost the aloe. I got two sets of plant food. Probably just gonna use it on the blooming hearts. Yeah, just screw like everything else that's happening in the top and bottom rows. Like, or sorry, the top three. Top three rows. Everything needs to be on the bottom right now. Let me swap. What the heck? Yeah, uh, actually, let me just plant through this. Oh, I mean, I have a big, big, big problem. I, no way, I have plant food. I can get through this. Yeah, the plant fooding the um, split pea should work. Okay. I can't believe that actually worked. N oh, man. I feel like I'm not doing these levels very well at all. But they are tricky. They are very tricky. We'll give them credits where credit is due. I've. I, I, but yeah, like I said, I don't like relying on the lawnmowers, but if it's what I need to do, it's what I need to do. But yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to end the episode today. Uh, next time we'll be doing level 7 and 8 here of Plant Puzzle. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!